and it led to, to the defeat um, until the goal. I thought we controlled the game, I thought we were in the ascendancy. As I said, I can't really remember Mark having a save to make in the game until, until they scored. That little switch off, and from then on, a bit like the other night, I just felt that you know, the two mistakes from Mark has been brilliant for us. You know, it's ended in 3 0. Um, but not the mistake, or the two mistakes. As I said, a bit like the other night where we let a goal sort of almost affect the team performance, if I'm being honest. That's how I saw it. And I've not seen it all back yet. That was going to be my next question. I mean, once uh, Newport scored, there was only going to be one team to win it. 3 0 probably flatters them over, the, well, certainly does flatter them over 90 minutes, but. They took the chances, they scored no, them absolutely. at the other end. We didn't yeah. look like we were going to get back into the no, game. No, absolutely. you're 100% right. Um, I didn't feel that I didn't feel that in the first half we, we had any problems. And we, we spoke oh. at half-time and we actually said that we felt that the longer the game went second half, then being the own team would, would try and get As long as we stayed solid, we, we'd find some areas to, to, to exploit. And... You know, I'd heard John next to me when he made the changes, he's like, we said we've got to change something because we're hitting our head against a brick wall. And they were because I thought we was in, and I thought we could sort of push on and, and the last sort of 20 minutes we would have brought Craig on. And I just felt that we would sort of take the game and give ourselves the opportunity to win, whether we won or not, it's not the opportunity. Uh, but we never gave ourselves a chance to do that because say we switched off on the free kick and from that minute on we, we never looked like the team that we had in, in, in the previous hour. And second game run, it, well, seven goals now in two games, no. and you know, the defence has made mistakes, but just how do you explain this change around now? Honestly, I, I, I haven't got an idea. I looked look at the goals back the other night, and they were a little bit individualis individualistic as they were today, you know, and that's, that's always a difficult one, you know, the organisation bit you can work on but if I'm a person that lets a ball slip under my foot or misplaces a pass and they, they score from that you can't coach that but you know that's the disappointing thing because as I say that the, the two games that we've played you know we've I think been in two strong positions at crucial time we've made an error and um, resulting of that error really um, has been the end of the game. You said after our interview on Tuesday night that scoring goals didn't seem to be a problem now. <laughs> Looking back on that uh, today, it, it, it's it one was, game. wasn't it? it no, but, but this, that's one game. You, got, you, can't look at one, you can't actually look at one game we talk about scoring loads of goals. We're up there with the leading scorers. We probably still are. Um, and it's not. I mean, I think their goalkeeper's made a great save from Greeny. And we had, for the away team, I thought we had enough opportunities around the goal that given problems. I think we had two or three in the first half. And I don't think that scoring goals will be a problem for us. I don't, I don't think it is. I think that we can score goals. Our problem, 100%, is we, we concede. Um, and at the moment, we, we don't just concede. We concede too quickly after. We're 1-0 down. Oh, OK, it's 1-0 down. There's no problems. Let's just work our way back into the game. But we didn't give ourselves an opportunity to do that because of individual errors. And that isn't aimed at Mark Tyler, because he's been brilliant. You know, the errors were him, but it could have been someone else, and it has been someone else. So, you know, it's not just one person. And looking back now on, on the, the last seven days, I mean, a 4-3 defeat at home on Tuesday after being 3-1 up. Uh, coming here to Newport, who haven't won at home all season, the last time they'd won at home was against, against us, us in March. Yeah. Um, you know, as far as fans are concerned, that's a very disappointing week, isn't no, it? It'd be absolutely disappointing week. Um, very disappointing week. Um, but that is the week. There's nothing I'm sad about. That's what's happened. And what do you feel, I mean, the pressure for you as a manager in, under these circumstances for these two games? <laughs> you know what, when people talk about when you do this job about the pressure, sorry, when people talk about, listen, in, in all walks of those pressures, I do the best job in the world, do it to the best of my ability, and I've done it very successfully for a, a large amount of years. And at the moment, it's not all that successful, is it? Of course it isn't. Well, I have to take that on the chin, that's part of the game. And it doesn't get any easier going forwards now, does it, for the remainder of 2015? In, sorry, in, on, so in, as far as uh, Peterborough away in the Cup and then tough oh, games no, against yeah, Northampton listen, and Exeter. And I don't worry about that. You know, I, I don't, that's, 
that's a spur, that's not a deterrent, you know, that's, I'll, you know, with Peterborough next week, um, I can't wait for it, that's a great game for us to play, um, the games that follow that are great games to play, so I don't have no, no issues with that, you know, you know, in this game you have highs and lows, you have to treat them both the same, never too high with success, never too low with failure, it's disappointing at the moment, the players are disappointed at the moment, Staff are disappointed at the moment, supporters are disappointed, everyone's disappointed at the moment. But that's football and I have to take that on the chin. Uh, just looking at the team out there today, obviously you were able to welcome back uh, Luke Wilkinson into yeah. the side. Um, no sign of Mark O'Brien in the injured. squad at all? He's injured. He's, uh, he got a whack on his ankle quite early in the game on uh, Tuesday. And uh, it's just swollen up a little bit, so he'll probably be about 10 days. And Marcus Oak. Magnus Oaken guy was on the bench, so good to yes, see him back. No, in. absolutely. He's trained this week. Um, we hope that he can get a game in on Wednesday in the reserves against Cambridge. We hope. We should think he, you know, unless he sort of trips up on something, he should be available for that, as should Nathan Doyle. Uh, so there's two players that we can give, you know, very important uh, minutes to. And obviously now an extended day in preparation for the game next week, probably um, needed as well after the last two. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. It's how, it's how it is, whether the game is Saturday or Sunday. Preparation good to Sunday. But good to have a full uh, period of time. Good to have a, a week to get back on the training ground. Absolutely, Simon. Absolutely. Lovely.